Hello, hair people. So, hair people. Welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today's theme is Promises to Keep. So we are going to be using the Lenormand deck and we're going to be using the Amethyst runes. It's the Elder Fruit Arc on Amethyst stones. So let's start with a card from the Lenormand deck and we have the birds. So this is, whatever this promise is, it's something that is making you very anxious. It's something that you feel like people are talking about around you. Um, you feel like there's gossip involved. Um, you, may, you may feel like there's a lot of, you know, talking, talking, talking around you and you feel like, you know, you're sort of being pressured by that. So let's get some runes down and see where we stand with these little birds. It's the birds. The card is the birds in the, in the Lenormand. There we are. Yeah, and you f it, a lot of the chat is that, oh, this person hasn't gotten on with this yet. And so you're feeling very, very pressured. Um, at the same time, you know, the pressure sort of makes you feel immobile. And then your immobility makes you feel like there's more pressure. And it's like, really, it, it's, it's a bit hard. <laughs> so... So your central issue here is Isa. Isa is the rune of ice. Uh, the ice is the rune of standstill. Um, it's this, it's stillness basically. So it, that's really the worry about this promise. This promise that you kept and then you haven't done it yet. And the problem is that this was something that was sort of when this promise was made. The thing was already an emergency. Like we have, it was given to you with great pressure already. Like we have now these reversed, which is the rune of need. And when it's reversed, it's not just like, okay, this is something you need to do. This is like something you need to drop everything and do because it is reversed. And yet here you are, you know, it's like Hamlet's like, I do not know why yet I live to say this things to do. So <laughs> you're in a situation where like you, you're, it's not just procrastination. It's like a sort of a freezing and to use the younger Futhark <clears throat> definition of Isa, it's also something that would create a bridge. If once you've completed it, it will bridge something that desperately needs to have one. Um, but you're sort of like frozen. It's like the pressure is so much that you feel almost immobilized. So how are we going to help this? One, get your flow going within and get your heart on board. We have Lagu's reversed, which is the rune of water. It's the flow. It's reversed on the upper line. So yes, the two ways I'm going to read it as is one, every action starts with within. So maybe even like visualize what you need to do and then visualize yourself doing it and then flow into that like let let it start deep inside you um lagus is also all the watery stuff so it's emotion intuition and heart um so you definitely want to get your heart on board with this so even just like since you're still take a moment in that stillness to start like watering that seed of this is the thing that I want to do. What's the first step I need to do for it? And then visualize yourself doing that until you are literally actively starting that first step of things. Because sometimes it's just starting that needs to happen. And I know it's hard when, especially when people are like, you know, do this thing, do this thing, do this thing. And then suddenly this is the last thing you ever want to do in your whole entire life. Even if it's to save your life, it's like, well, now I'm not doing it because, <laughs> because you're pressuring me, but like, just, you know, it's do it. <laughs> and you know that you need to do it because you've already, it was already an emergency. Here you are in, in a state of, of having frozen and all around you, people are like, why aren't they doing this? And you feel like, even if you can't hear them doing it, you feel like it's happening. Even if it isn't happening, you feel like it's happening. You feel like, like everybody around you is like, this person said they would do this thing and they didn't do it yet. And they haven't done it. And when are they going to do it? Blah, 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 birds. So <laughs> really just find get in contact with your heart and say to your heart and, and like get your heart on board with this thing that you have to do it do it because you have decided to do it like don't do it because all the birds are saying do it because you have made this decision and your heart is on board with it and once your heart's on board with it and once you have decided to do it and then you where you can genuinely say i'm not doing this because you all wouldn't shut up about it i'm doing it because i wanted to do it that's when you're going to do it and and then let that inner flow flow out into the outer flow um what isn't going to help is <clears throat> you're really afraid of what's going to happen like it's like 
it's like you it's have you, you know the book the shining <laughs> it's like if he didn't drain the like furnace or whatever it was the place was going to blow up and you just, you know that it's going to blow up if you don't do anything but it's still like and yet here you are so i've just thrown down an upper and lower for this very just very quickly so uh, finding your inner flow and connecting with your heart first is going to give you the inner strength that you need to lift up your feet and no, not resist anymore and that's what that's about what isn't going to help is you are really worried about the the explosion that you expect that's going to happen if you don't do it and this is making you feel very disarmed this is making you feel very um do you hear that i don't know what truck that is there's a truck that goes around it's not an ice cream truck it just does this ominous like jangling anyway so here you are uh, you're really worried about the thing that you expect to burst open like a jack-in-the-box if you don't do it um and also you're you know, you're feeling like this is you're being seen as somebody who can't take care of what needs to be taken care of. So we have uh, Uru's reverse, which is inner strength on top, which is what's helping you, and also a lack of like a lifting up of your hooves and and a lack of stubbornness. What isn't helping you is uh, Paratho reversed, which is the lot box, and in this case, I'm seeing it as like a springing open of a thing that's going to be revealing something terrible. And one of the things that is terrible that it's revealing is that people are going to think you're not able to take care of responsibilities. So if that starts to drag you down, please don't let it. It's clearly contributing to your having frozen. Bring yourself back up to, since you're still all ready, take a moment, connect with your heart, and then decide like that you're the one who's going to make this decision that you're going to do this. And that will help you lift up your hooves so you can move forward. And once you've done this, it's like this is the only thing on your to-do list. Like as like there may be other things, but this is like the thing that once you cross it off, you can just basically lie on the floor and go, oh my gosh, it's done. I did it. I can rest for the rest of my life because I've done this. Uh, we have a blank rune as the outcome and that's basically it. Everything will, your, your, your schedule will be cleared and you will feel so much better. And then the, the imagined or actual birds that are twittering around you will finally be quiet. So that, hair people, is your reading for Promises to Keep. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.